Hello and welcome to another lesson in ICT. Today we want to discuss and do some practical work on websites and pictures. So, websites are very very important things which give information to people online. And they are just like pages of a book or of, or of newspapers. And the websites must have text, graphics, tables, and all those things you normally see on newspapers. We are going to use MS Paint to design how our website will look like. Then we, I have some few pictures which I will use to show you how we can edit and put them in the website. During your normal activity, you will have a chance to download your own pictures from internet which you will use in your own project. So without wasting time, I'm going to use MS Paint to create a web page design. Right now I don't even know how my web page will look like, but I will play around in MS Paint and I will have a final design of what I want. I will be able to choose which fonts and which colors of font I may need in my web page. Then, after the design, we are going to resize pictures, crop them, and edit them to ensure that whatever is in the design will be achieved on the final web page which we are making. Then we will be able to transform what is in the design into a web page using languages such as HTML and CSS. So let us start. MS Paint In MS Paint we have a, a blank area which we normally use to draw anything it can be a freehand drawing or shape or anything you might be interested. Today I'm going to use shapes to draw the, the structure of our web page. So I have square shape here and I'm going to choose color gray and I'm going to choose here a thinner line then I can draw a nice rectangle like that then I'm going to get a straight line and separate so that I can have a header and the body of the page so this part of the web page is what we call the header then the, the rest is what we call the body I'm going to put here the title for my web page I want to make I want to make website about domestic animals. I'm going to select that text, choose font area. I want to go to the area, press enter, and I want to reduce this to size eleven and I want it to be like in color. Then I'm going to position this selection so that the text is in the middle of the header. The next thing I want to do is to have a heading here for the web page. Let me call it famous domestic animals. I will select my text. I want this to be of font. Let me choose uh, an attractive font here. Let me choose uh, Eras Bold IPC. So I'm going to write it down on my notebook. Uh, heading. 
using Eras Bold ITC. Then I want also to choose size. And let me play around with size here. Twenty is not bad, so I will write it on my notebook size twenty point pt. The size is in point, so we write twenty pt. Then color. I think red color will be good. I will go here and apply red color. So already I have decided on the design of the title of the web page. Then in my web page, I want pictures. I want to have one picture here. And I'm going to color this gray. Then I may want a paragraph to introduce what is shown in the picture. And for example, I may write uh, my paragraph in Arial. Let me choose the Arial, say so 11. So I will note in my notebook paragraph will be area size 11 so I will go on and type examples of the domestic animals are her she goes and blank so I can have this paragraph there on my web page I can position it in a good position ok then I'm going to have these pictures I want four of them for the four animals and position them like this can select this copy and paste and bring it down here so basically what what I have done is I've come up with a simple design where I have a title with a specific font and color, I have a paragraph and four pictures of domestic animals. Uh, I will wish my pictures to be, for example, uh, uh, let me choose the color out and type here width of 150 by height of 100. And this one will be maybe cow one fifty by one hundred. Remember, this is will really be in pixels. Okay, can so even write here px, and this can be sheep. Then we have another one fifty. These are animals who help in transport and uh, uh, 15 by x and we can have don't here. So this is basically the structure of my page. I'm going to select this so like that like that and crop it 
and I'm going to save it on the desktop and I can call it design so now I have my design the next thing I want to do is now to go to my pictures and make them 150 by 100 in a size so I, if I open my folder here my design is here and I have four pictures I will use this application called Microsoft picture manager in case you don't have this application this is what you can do you just go to the internet you open google go to the internet you open google then search ms share point Designer 2010. Then download that app from that link and we install it. You'll be able to get the Microsoft Picture Manager which you'll use for this activity. So I will go back to my pictures and right click the one for the car so I will come here and click edit under the size I will click the size and I want my height the height of this picture to be 100 remember so i'll take 100 this one automatically is suggesting 150 so it is fine i'm going to click ok because that is what i wanted 150 by 100 i'll click ok then save this picture and i'm going to close this application i want to do the same for the donkey right click open with picture manager edit the size under height I will put 100 now you can see if my height is 100 there is something which, which has happened to my width it is lesser than 150 so in that case I am going to increase here going to increase here until my width is 150 so now you can see here my dimension is 151 by 106 so I'm going to crop I'm going to click OK then I'm going back to edit crop so in the crop I want to reduce width so I can decide to reduce this part of the image which has more space so I will go to my left and increase here by 1 and this one has changed to 150 already I want to reduce the height from the bottom okay, of the animal so I will come here and put 6 here so you can now see my picture is 150 by 100 I click OK. Then I will save and close. I will come to OS, open, with picture manager, edit, resize. Height is 100, I can take 100, 
and the width is already 150 so this is fine with me click ok and save the one for the sheet right click manager click edit the size height 100 and 150 it has come automatically so I click ok and I'm going to save now i have the pictures resized and i want to implement this design now this is the design which i want to implement which i designed in ms paint so what am i going to do i'm going to start notepad i will come here Notepad, search for Notepad, click Notepad from the options, then start typing my HTML document. HTML and close my HTML. I will start my head. Close my head tag. Then create my body part here and close my body tag. Then in the head, I'm going to insert a title. Remember my title is a uh, domestic animal, let me confirm. Domestic animal is my title. So I'll so it's a domestic animals and close that title tag. Then inside the body of the page, inside the body of this page, I start with my title, Famous Domestic Animals. So I will come here and put my heading level 1. Famous. All the letters start with capital, so the famous domestic animals and close my head. Then in my design, after the heading, I have a, a paragraph here. Examples of domestic animals are cow. So I will come here, type the design bones of the most animals are cow, sheep, horse, and donkey. So I will do I will come here and save and I want to save it 
on the desktop and save the folder website and I can choose the name any name for example I can call this animals but remember to make it a web page you will finish with dot html if you put dot html that is going to be transformed into a web page i'm going to click ok don't close this notepad because we are still editing the page i can see my web page here and i can be previewing it as i am designing it i will go ahead and open this web page file in google chrome which is a web browser and you can see here now my web page is showing a title and a paragraph the next thing is to insert pictures below these paragraphs and i'm going to back to my code window below the paragraph tag i'm going to write img source equal sign and quotes and close since i have four pictures i'm going to copy and paste this line so that i have four lines i'm going to press ctrl and c on the keyboard and ctrl and v to paste ctrl and v again to paste Control and V to test. Now I will go back to my folder and point to the pictures. The picture of a cow is JPG. So I will just come here and write cow dot JPG. Go back to the folder point at the picture of um, sheep that is a jpg so i will write a sheep dot jpg i will also come back to the folder the next picture is of a horse that is jpg and that one of a donkey is jpg so i'm going to wait here pause for jpg and donkey for jpg now i will come here and save the changes and go back to my web page i'm going to refresh it here we load this page now you can see my page is showing four pictures which are arranged from left to right now i want to bring the third and the fourth picture below the first and the second picture so i will go and create a break here after the ship i'm going to create a break so i go back to my notepad after the image for the ship i put br tag and i'm going to click file save and refresh my page again now you can see the pictures are well arranged below the paragraph the next thing i want to do is use cascaded style sheets or css to, to, to apply the font style i want to the heading and the paragraph and also i'm going to color the heading to red so i'm going to the notepad and uh, below the title press enter there to create a space and i'm going to write a style tag 
for the CSS and close the style tag. It is between these two style tags where I am going to insert the picture. Now uh, I'm going to set CSS between these two style, style tags. The first thing I want to style is this heading, heading level 1, this one. I'm going to type here H1. And I'm going to write here, font family. Black card, black card. Card ATC, then I end with semicolon, and I'm going to give it size twenty eight points, and I'm going to give it color red. Then I will close my bracket for the CSS. I will click file and save the changes. Then the next thing I want to apply style to is uh, this paragraph with p tag. So I'm going to write a p. Open bracket, just write color. No, 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 we are not coloring. I'm going to write size. is 11 points of uh, front family area and close the bracket please note that if the name of the font has space like this one between black card and I see the space we have to put it in quote. But if the name of the font is simply one word like this area, we don't need to apply a font style with quotes. So I'm saving the changes and I will now refresh my web page. Now you can see my page is loaded with uh, my web page looking pretty well and uh, the title is red color and the paragraph is black color thank you student for participating in this lesson try this at home and see you next time bye bye